Hey guys, Mr. Happy here and welcome to Final Fantasy Bestiary. This series is dedicated towards discovering the history and lore behind some of Final Fantasy's most iconic creatures and characters. This episode, we take a look at the deadly group, the Four Fiends. The Four Fiends are a recurring series of bosses in the Final Fantasy series. While it is not always the same group of enemies, they usually serve two purposes. The first is that each usually has an association to a specific element, either earth, wind, fire, or water. With that, they usually try to absorb one of the four crystals to enhance their power and ruin the natural order of the world. Their second purpose is that they usually guard some form of ultimate boss in a dungeon, requiring that you redefeat a stronger version of each fiend to progress. This is usually the last boss in the game, but not always. The Four Fiends' original Japanese name was the Four Heavenly Kings, which was a reference to the four gods from Buddhist faith. Each of these four gods watches over a cardinal direction of the world and reports on the virtue and morality of the people in those areas. They report said aspects to Sakura, the Lord of the Devas. In Final Fantasy, these cardinal directions are usually used in a similar manner to separate the world and the four crystals. The four fiends made their first appearance in Final Fantasy 1, where they appeared as the bosses Lich, Merilith, Kraken, and Tiamat. Each one was attempting to drain the powers of a crystal and also protect chaos in the final dungeon. Final Fantasy IV had the four fiends again, but went for some more originality by creating brand new fiends. This time, Scarmiglione, Cagnazzo, Barbaricia, and Rucante were featured as the four fiends and are vastly different in appearance to the original fiends. However, these four fiends are later featured in the Dawn of Souls and 20th Anniversary editions of Final Fantasy I in an optional dungeon known as the Hellfire Chasm. Similarly, the four fiends from Final Fantasy I appear in the sequel to Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. The next time these creatures would be seen is in Final Fantasy IX, where they were referred to as the Chaos Guardians. These four resemble the Final Fantasy I fiends in both name and appearance and act as similar entities in the universe, each protecting a crystal. They are all additionally fought in the final dungeon before the last boss, similar to how they protected Chaos in Final Fantasy 1. The last numbered series the Four Fiends appeared in was actually Final Fantasy 11. Most people don't consider this a legitimate encounter with the Four Fiends, but they appeared as four of the primary bosses in the endgame area known as Tulia or Sky. We had Genbu of the North and the Winter, Biako of the West and the Autumn, Sieru of the East and the Spring, and Suzaku of the South and the Summer. These four fiends are vastly different from their previous incarnations, especially considering they follow an entirely different etymology. They are based on the Chinese mythological cosmology known as the Shijin. One major giveaway of this is the Shijin actually have a fifth direction, known as the Center. And in Final Fantasy XI, the center is where Kirin, the final boss of Sky, is located. He is also only accessible after defeating the prior four gods and bringing their items to him, another qualifier of being the four fiends. The four outer creatures also serve as the four fiends in the game The Final Fantasy Legend. As the years have gone by, the four fiends have appeared thematically in quite a few side titles. Usually each game has their own interpretation of the four fiends, but the concept lives on strong. While most Final Fantasy games are about crystals, we haven't seen the Four Fiends in a mainstream title for a very long time. Perhaps we will see them in Final Fantasy XV since, you know, crystals are kind of a big deal there. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share for more videos on my channel. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos as well. Also, you can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, or you can follow me on Twitch where I do live stream Final Fantasy games and RPGs in general. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.